Hey, it's Josh here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make sure your WordPress website is pulling up and showing fully HTTPS secure. And what you ideally wanna have is on your website, we'll look at my tutorial site here, you'll see a little lock here and you wanna make sure it looks like this to where, and, and some of these will look a little bit different, um, but it should be green and it should say some sort of note that says this connection is secure. What you wanna avoid is having something like this that says not secure. And there's a lot of different things that come into play with this, but what I'm gonna show you in this quick video is my five step kind of proven path that usually always works for me. So what I'm gonna show you generally always works. However, if you try these five steps and they do not work for some reason, there may be something else at play, but what I show you here should be able to help you troubleshoot that. So we're gonna start off with tip number one, which is to make sure that in your hosting account that you have a SSL certificate enabled. Now, in my case, I'm gonna to go to where I have this site hosted, which is in SiteGround, and I'm gonna go into SSL Manager. And the first thing I wanna do is make sure that in this domain that we're looking at, that I have some sort of SSL certificate installed. Now, there on most hosts, there are free ones and premium ones. I have a premium one on my actual site at joshhall.co, in this case, what I'm gonna do is just install a free one, which is called Let's Encrypt in the case of SiteGround. I think it's like that on other hosts as well, um, but there's essentially different levels and versions of SSL certificates. Uh, I highly recommend doing a premium one for your website and for your client sites, but in this case, we're just gonna do this free Let's Encrypt one. So step number one is to make sure you have that installed on the hosting level first before we even go to the website. Because again, there's quite a few things that can come into play here to make your site fully SSL secured. So once this sets up here, we'll move on to the next step. All right, and once you have your SSL certificate installed on your domain, when it's time to install WordPress, generally most hosts will give you the option to install WordPress on a secure domain with HTTPS, or if for some reason you don't have a security certificate on there, an SSL certificate, um, you can just start it without it. But ideally you would install WordPress on a secure, secure domain. But here's the trick. You generally always want to enable your SSL certificate first before installing WordPress. You can get around that, which is what I'll show you next, but ideally you set up your certificate first on your domain, then you install WordPress. So step number two would be to install WordPress on a secure domain. And then again, if you have a website that is not secure for whatever reason, there's a couple different tools and options to go from here. First off, let's dive into this tutorial site. Using SiteGround hosting, they have what's called the SiteGround Optimizer, which is a sweet little plugin that has all sorts of options. One of them, is if we go to environmental optimization, is right here, enable HTTPS. So for example, if I had set this site up and it was not secure, uh, what I would do is add a certificate, a security SSL certificate, and then I'll just click this, enable HTTPS. So we're, we are going to confirm that. And actually, if I look right now before I enable that, if we go into uh, settings under general, we'll see here that this site as of right now does not have HTTPS, so it's actually still showing not secure. So you could go in and just literally add S here, but there's actually a couple other things we would need to do. So I would generally recommend going into the SG Optimizer if you're using SiteGround and just enable HTTPS. We'll confirm this, it will log us out, but we'll log back in. All right, so this is enabled, we're logged back in. And now if we look under settings, there we go. It automatically changed that. I didn't have to do a thing. So it automatically added S in there. Now, if you're not using SiteGround hosting, there's quite a few plugins and, and a host, so a lot of different hosts have different solutions for this. Uh, in any case, there is one great handy plugin that I used to use all the time, which is called Really Simple SSL. So if you're in that spot where you need to migrate a host from not secure to secure, uh, once you have a security certificate installed, this is the plugin I would use if you're not using SiteGround because you can use this and it will uh, adjust those general settings and make sure your site is SSL. However, that's not the last step. Sometimes your site can still show unsecure uh, if you don't have a couple other things in place. So the next step here, number four, is to make sure that all of your media and pictures 
have secure file paths. So for example, if we go into media and we look at all the images I have on this site, let's find this one here. You can see that it says HTTPS. Now that is because I use the SG optimizer. Uh, this should work if you use that really simple SSL plugin as well. But what you do want to make sure you check is that you go in here and make sure all links say HTTPS. So let's just grab this actual URL and I'm going to use a plugin called Velvet Blues Update URLs. Now you can search this in WordPress plugin in the WordPress plugin directory. I've already got it installed and once it is installed, you'll see it under here under installed plugins. You'll see right here, Velvet Blues update URLs. You can also, there's a couple different ways to do this, but I've always loved this plugin. And once that's installed under tools, you can go to update URLs. And here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna make sure the old URL that is not secure is replaced by the new URL, which is secure. And this, you can check every single one of these. This will make sure that every image, every file, everything you have in your website is going to be updated with this secure URL. So let's run this now. And I'm pretty sure that the, okay. So the SG optimizer handled all of that for us with one click, which was super cool. However, there were two custom fields that this picked up that changed that link from not secure to secure. So this is a really, really handy plugin. This is crucial because I see so many web designers you know, activate an SSL certificate and they're like, why is my site still showing not secure? Generally, it's because you need to update the URL paths here as well. But then there's one final step. This is step five, which is to make sure that any actual links that you have in your theme or in widget areas are also gonna be updated just like this because this will take care of the actual files in the media gallery and everything. However, there are some places that still may be a culprit. For example, I'm using Divi. Let's go into Divi theme options. When I installed this logo, uh, the SG optimizer did change this as well. It used to not do that actually, so that must be a recent addition. But uh, in a lot of cases, I would see sites that would have something like this. You would install a logo, and if you installed it when it was not secure, it would show insecure. So double check links like this that are in your WordPress site or your theme, um, that anything that is like this that's in some sort of theme options that will show the entire URL path, make sure that is adjusted. Quick little tip, uh, anytime you're gonna be adjusting security measures like this, you can actually just take off the entire URL and you can actually just start it at the path after the domain and that will also work and that way if you ever switch back and forth for any reason with a security certificate, this is just going to base it off of, you know, whatever the site is secure or not secure. So neat little trick there. In any case, you wanna double check that. But there's one final thing here that I wanna check. And I see this often. This ended up, I actually helped somebody recently out with this because this ended up being the culprit. And there was one more place in the website that did not have a secure image file path and it was in the widgets. So for example, I'm gonna go into the widgets on my test site here. And I have a uh, just a HTML block here that looks like this on the outside of the site. So uh, in the sidebar of blog posts, I have a little image of myself. Normally you would put, you know, like a sign up link or something here. Well, this ended up being the culprit for this particular student that I helped out. And if we look at inspect element and we look at this image, you'll see that the file path is still HTTP, see that? it still actually does not have HTTPS in this. It shows here because of the SG optimizer, but that can be a culprit as well. So all you have to do in this case is go in and just add a nice little S after HTTP and you're good to go. That's it. Now the SG optimizer and most of these plugins should take care of most every link like this. However, and actually, I think what I showed you previously when I showed you the, um, the Velvet Blues plugin and it said there were two custom fields, I'm fairly certain it's it covered what I just showed you, which was right here and in the uh, logo and theme options. But I just wanted to show you this for reference because this is often the culprit for folks where it's like, man, I've got my SSL installed. I'm using the SG optimizer or something else. I made sure all image paths are working. The logo's right. What the heck? Why isn't it showing fully secure? It's generally something like that. So that's the five-step process. Just to recap, number one, enable SSL certificate on your host, or you can do let's encrypt if it's like a free site or a free certificate for your site. Number two, make sure you set up WordPress in an, a, a secure website. 
If it's not secure, you can enable HTTPS with the SG Optimizer plugin or additional plugins like Velvet Blue, or uh, excuse me, really simple SSL like I showed you. Number four, make sure all of your media files and links are secure using, you can use the Velvet Blues plugin like I showed you, that's a biggie. Generally, when you use the SG Optimizer or some of these other plugins that will handle that, but I like doing that just in case. And then finally, you know, as a plan B, if something still isn't working, just check the on-site links in your theme options or widgets area to make sure that all URL paths are secure as well. And there you go, guys, that's it. You should now have a site that looks something like this to where once you have all those steps in play, you'll see a little lock here that says connection is secure. And now, my friends, your WordPress websites are fully secure. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you on the next one.